Hello. In uh, lesson number four, uh, we're going to look into a little bit more detail uh, into logic operations, logic blocks. And uh, to do that, uh, you notice that uh, designer space is already preset. Uh, this was done so that we don't waste time on what we already know how to do. Uh, we said uh, before that uh, to execute any commands, uh, we need some sort of a trigger, something that's going to initiate uh, execution of our commands. And uh, these uh, are called event handlers. And the simplest event handler that we'll be mostly using is a button that uh, can be pressed. And once it's pressed, it executes our commands. This is why we brought this button here you notice that it's changed a little bit we change the name of the button logic button we change how it looks like there's a background color that uh, corresponds to the color of the logic blocks and uh, the size is changed as well and see the text on the bo uh, button is changed to logic as well uh, another thing is that we need something to display our results and to do that uh, we use a label right so there's uh, one label here you also notice that we change the name change the background color stretched it to fill the parent width enlarge the height and uh, also there is no text right text gonna be shown only as a result of our operation so uh let's take a look of what we can do in the logic operations in the logic blocks so we're going to switch to the blocks panel blocks editor and let's first take a quick look at the uh, logic component so once we click on it the drawer opens and uh, we see a library which is really sparse there's not much here and uh, it's not surprising simply because in the logic operations there are only two states right it can be true or false uh, but they're still very important and very powerful uh, in uh, principle traditional coding and, and even computer architecture is based on the true and false states and statements and uh, these are used to make decisions in our code which is very important and we'll devote the whole um, lesson on how we make decisions in coding uh, but we will need this logical operation so besides two constants true and false uh, we see there is a not which essentially inverts uh, negates whatever was uh, the outcome so if we say not true obviously we're going to get false as a result and vice versa so let's see uh, when we click this button, right, what do we want to do uh, through logic operations? So, first of all, we need this event handler. Click on the logic button. Pick the event handler when the logic button is clicked, right? We want to do something. What do we want to do? We want to set this label to show us some outcome of our logic operation. So, we're going to go to the logic label. We're gonna click set label text, right? But we can pick whichever one is first we find. So let's say we pick this one. It says set logic label height, but through the drop down menu, we change it to text. And we can set it to what in terms of logic operations? We can send it simply to a constant, right? So if we click here, if we pair through, it's going to set the text to true. So when we click this button, we should get true in our display, right? So you see that. A um, little bit more complex. What we can do is we can do comparison here, right? So we can do comparison whether something is equal or it's not equal. It's different. See through this drop down here. So First thing you would think, right, we can compare numbers, which is true, right? We can have some outcome of some operation or, or something on the left and on the right, and we can ask ourselves to check whether these outcomes are the same in terms of the numbers. But uh, instead of that, we can also compare text. So let's show 
how we would do that. So we need two texts, right? This is text constants. Uh, and let's say one says there's a text one and the other one has two, right? So these are two text constants, which are one and two. And we're going to compare whether this text is the same as this one. Obviously, they're not, right? So when we click this button and it checked, it say false. If we change this to one, right? Now, obviously, they are the same. And if we click the button, logic button says yes, true, they are the same. Okay. What else can we do in the logic operations? Uh, we can compare two or more events, two or more results of the uh, logical examination. So uh, to make this a little bit more complex, instead of having a single comparison, we can have two. And as you can see here in the drop down menu, uh, there are two options. We can have AND and OR. In uh, logic operations, uh, comparison and is gonna give true only if both of these events that we compare are true. Um, any other combination is gonna give false. If we have or, then it's uh, in a way uh, reversed. So what happens here is there's only one way that it would give false. And it would give false only if both of these events on left and right are false right so we need to know a little bit about this uh, very simple and basic uh, logic operations so right so we can say instead of inventing some you know some some here events that would give us uh, true or false we're just gonna write these constants by ourselves so let's say the outcome on the left, whatever it was, is going to be true, and the outcome on the right is going to be false. So when we execute this now, it's going to compare true and false, and we know that this gives false. So when we click the button, it's going to tell us that the outcome is false, right? And, and right, if we switch this to OR, right now true or false, it's uh, sufficient that only one is true for it's this to be true. So in this case, we're going to have the outcome that is true, right? So when we click this button, it is going to give us true. And um, uh, the only one more thing that we can say here that uh, we do need to know is that we don't need to have only two events to compare here because each of these can come as the result of some more complex uh, comparison so for instance on the left instead of having a single event single outcome we can nest another pair so some say previous comparison that we have to do so now we have two events on the left that we need to resolve, right? So let's say these events are true and true. Or we can keep nesting. There can be more and more uh, until we get to this top level that we're going to compare with or uh, with this event that is false on the right. So we need to first examine the innermost nested one, which in this case on the left side is true or true, right? We know true or true is going to give us true. And then we go to the outer loop, outer nest that have result of this, which is true, true or false. True or false is still going to give us true, right? So. If we click this button, nothing is going to change. We're still going to have this true, right? So you see um, these um, 
uh, lodge blocks are uh, relatively simple to use and this is actually reason we started with them um, we're gonna move on to the next group uh, in the lesson number five bye until then